a year and a half ago. So Oscar did the right, made the right decision in postponing the fight as long as he could. And it actually, Lee, paid out in his favor because it's it, Triple G busted in pay-per-view. He was a total bomb. He didn't even do over 300,000 buys. Canelo did 1 million in his last one. So De La Hoya won that that um negotiating uh um whatever leverage thing they had going on there uh wow sorry you're about so that. professional yeah sorry which about which gives that. me an opportunity to uh do a commercial right here so hey everybody tune in to the boxing voice that's t h a boxing voice every thursday and friday follow him on facebook and twitter that's the Boxing Voice, T H A B O X I N G V O I C E. Every Thursday and Sunday, follow him on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And I'm sure this is the point where Andrew comes back online and says, "Lee, why would you do that?" <laughs> Lee, say say what your line is always at that point. I, why would you do that? You know what, Andrew? Because they follow us to get their story ideas. I thought I'd promote their show. There you go. <laughs> By the way, they do. Um. <laughs> I'm such Look a it. dick. I'm such a dick. They, I'm. You know they what? Have Here's Canelo. what I think, Andrew. I think we should challenge everybody on the Boxing Voice to a match. <laughs> I think there's three of them, right? Yeah. Why? You know what? We need another stupid showdown. Like it's due, Andrew. Time for you to get it's in like, shape. It's like Anchorman. We're gonna pull an when's Anchorman. When's the last? When's the last time you put on gloves? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Probably since Isadora was born, so 13 years. <laughs> what do we need? Six weeks of camp for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, but... but um, I'm in competition shape, bro. I'm in competition shape. I just need to well, get... I'm, gonna, I'm going I'd have to go Jake out to Tony. Vegas and get hooked up with Billy Wright. All I'm going to do... On. I'm, just, I'm James Tony in it all the way, Lee, if you put me in the ring. <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy. So, uh, by the way, everybody, August 26th, I'm announcing our super show in Las Vegas. It has been confirmed. Billy Wright will be joining me in Las Vegas and uh, Andrew via Skype, where we will break down Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather and try to make this. Uh, hey, Bobby wants a part of that too. You got to remember how, how do you Capucci? Capucci. Capucci. Yeah, there you I'll go. Probably have Bobby. to drag Capucci over to breakfast. Yeah, it'll be a it, tremendous show. He's, he's going McGregor Lee. He said McGregor is going to win that fight. I'm going to buy one tremendously large breakfast, put a mic on a dub, top 10, top 10 ranked WBC heavyweight fighter. And Bobby, for those of you who don't know, Bobby Capucci is the master of all things. Betting, yes, sir. Oh, dude, dude knows how to bet. If he tells me to put my money on McGregor based on those odds, uh, you got to consider it. it. Yeah. <laughs> The UFC has done very good for him on the upsets. Oh, you know what I mean? shit. How he doesn't do just a straight betting show is completely out of my mind. I think he I, just, know one, I know one night, eight for eight on the eight UFC. Eight for eight on UFC. Fucker. That parlay <laughs> card is choice, man. Hey, you know, their bookies were pissed. Of course. He doesn't work. He hikes all day. <laughs> he hikes. His job is hiking. and. I know. Yeah, it's true. That's true. <laughs> I have to unfollow him for periods of time because I get so frustrated with his life. Right. I can't watch him on Facebook anymore. <laughs> I digress. Hi, everybody. You guys ready for your featured story of the evening? I'm sure you are. This is the point of the program where we do talk about our featured story. And this week, our featured story is, I hate to say it, Pacquiao versus yes. Horn. Of course it is. Yes. Next week, Pacquiao takes on Horn at 2 in the morning our time. I don't even know what time it's at. Like, I can't do the math. How does it work? Do I watch it live? Where does it show up on the ESPN schedule? Are they tape delaying it? I'm so confused. Now, with all that said, is there any chance in hell that Horn, I don't even know his first name. I got to be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> Jeff Horn, right? Jeff Horn. You yeah. sure it's not Joe Horn? No, I don't think it's Joe Horn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, so good. God, I know why you guys listen to this show. If I was listening to that, <laughs> that would have made me laugh. I only do this show to try to make Andrew laugh every week. I got to be perfectly honest. I am i don't have a complete life unless Andrew laughs. So technically the fight is on Sunday, July 2nd, but we see the fight on Saturday. Is that how it works? Um, 
I guess July second. I thought was a Saturday, Lee. I think they're oh. fighting on Friday, right? Is and that... we get to, we oh. get to watch it on Saturday. Now, Sunday hopefully, is the second. The oh, it is a is second. on Saturday. So for us, it will be ESPN on Saturday. They're twelve hours ahead, aren't they? Twelve or fourteen? Oh, I have no idea. It's like a day and a, like it's got to be on in the afternoon. I think. Well, just Google it. Hold dude. on, uh, let me get a world clock. Let me tell you though, what Lee. What time is it? It is it in Australia? Oh, apparently that's a question asked often. Uh, it's currently three twenty-four a.m. tomorrow. It's Monday, three twenty-four a.m. So they are ahead of us, not twelve hours. They're ahead of us uh, a lot more than that. Clearly, it's like uh, fifteen or twenty hours, or plus ten hours Greenwich Mean Time. There's somebody probably listening to this show screaming at us, by the way, which is hilarious. Um, don't don't oh, well, scream, when are don't fights scream fucking, at your podcast. That's yeah, when are fights shown in Australia? Get out of here. Yeah, yeah I don't even know how that works. Uh, at 50,000, Lee? There's 50,000 fans going to be at this fight. I didn't know. It's tomorrow. It's 1025 right now. Uh, or I'm telling you, Horn's going to take this fight, bro. Jeff Horn is going to win this fight. You, mark my words, they're going to do a rematch, and they're going to do 60000 in the rematch. Top rank knows what Manny Pacquiao wants to do, and it has nothing to do with it's top rank. It's about getting rank. paid. It's about getting paid. Oh, Pacquiao wants PBC. I'm telling you right now. Okay, you keep living the dream. Here's, I'm not living the dream. I know what the, they're saying. If Pacquiao is making millions of dollars fighting white guys because – we discovered that Freddie Roach is a racist. Lee, we did you don't right? understand. Freddie Roach is a racist. Say it. <laughs> Freddie Roach is a racist. Top, no, I'm not going to say it. You said it. Hey, top rank wants him to fight Terrence Crawford, and they don't want it. They don't it's, want uh, They think there's more checks to be made. Why, that's why fine. would they? That's fine. And look, he has a Freddie, country to Freddie Roach is barking the same story as well, which is fine. They're going to keep sticking Jeff Horn. Look, there's a Jeff Horn in England for him to fight next. Okay? There, there's a Jeff Horn on every continent. Uh, but but top rank, they want Terrence Crawford. Okay, here's the thing. This is a 6-1 to one underdog. A legit 6-1 yeah. to one dog. Uh, yeah. Okay? That's what it is. Now, the dr betting has dropped a little bit, but it's about 5-1, to 6-1 to one dog. Plus 475. It's all and about the game plan. It's all right. about the game. Minus 650 everywhere else. Man, he's going to work this guy 12 rounds and take an easy decision. This isn't even a struggle. There is no struggle. It's another Jesse Vargas. Yeah. Look at 50,000 people are going to be cheering for this kid, Jeff Horn. He He's a ticket seller, Lee. When you watch this kid's highlights or past fights, you're going to see fans in the stadium. This is not be, It's not like Manny Pacquiao is the one who... who Yes, he helped drive this ticket sale, but Jeff Horn was was waiting for an opponent like this. Oh, no, Manny it, was busy executing drug users in the Philippines with his president. With his president, yeah. Yeah, no, which, by the way, swept under the rug. Yeah, no doubt. No, they don't, hey, I told you they took a microphone away from him. Have you heard Manny say anything political in the no, last few months? because Bob said, stop that. Stop, yeah. HBO didn't want him. HBO is not putting that Manny bullshit Pacquiao on TV. Go, when this is all done, Manny Pacquiao is going to be the president of the Philippines. Okay? And he's got to shut his pie hole if he wants that job. Sometimes that, that could be true, but sometimes when these guys lose their star power as boxers, they also lose their star power politically. Um, Alexis Aguero being one of the biggest uh, examples of that. Um, so, so, yeah, you know, right now they're using Manny for money. Manny knows that, and that's why he need he keep he needs fights that that are are winnable and that pay good. Um, yes, Terence Crawford is a good payday, but they know it's a loss, and they know that th that top rank is gunning for that fight because it's time to cross over Terence Crawford. the The money is starting to dwindle on Pacquiao's career, starting to dwindle down. Terence Crawford is about to start going up. It, the, the Pacquiao team is not stupid, and and the reason why. I keep going back to Manny wants to switch PBC, Lee, is because they're the ones that try to negotiate with Amir Khan on the outside of top rank. 
They're the ones that said they wanted to fight Danny Garcia, that Danny Garcia came to the wild card gym, challenged Pacquiao, and Freddie Roach told him to go talk to Manny and Michael Kantz. Freddie Roach did not tell him to go talk to Bob Arum. This is all on print. This is all on video. And then and then the, the last guy was Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is another Al Heyman fighter. It, it, it's no, um, you know, I'm not pulling shit out of my ass. They're the ones saying they want three PBC guys. Top rank is going, we'll give you Terrence Crawford. At the end of the day, Manny is a whore, right? And if you give loses. Manny, if you give Manny enough money, right? If this kid has the right game plan, he's he has a very good chance of winning this no, fight. He Not straight. He yes, has he no does. chance of winning this fight, Andrew. No chance. Lee, he has a good right hand, and Manny can't stop one. Do you know what the fly? I see we've in heard this, this kid? a million times. You like we've all watched the tape. We've. Like Jesse, uh, yeah, Bar- he's been I bought into the hype of Jesse with the right hand. Sakes. He's been beaten a few times with the right hand. Remember, Miguel Cotto don't have a right hand. He has a left hook. Ricky Hatton don't have a right hand. He has a left As hook. You call, I talked to the trainer of Jesse Vargas who m- said exactly what you're saying. All he's got to do is throw a right hand. All he's got to do is throw a right hand. Okay, yeah, but Jesse Vargas had seven knockouts. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a yeah, there's a little lack of power going on in Jesse Vargas's career. Um, this kid has fifty thousand people screaming for him. Sometimes this is what I mean about game plan. This is what I mean. Do not rush early in this fight. Just outland jabs, right? Stay on the outside. Move. Let your fans dictate the judging. There's fifty thousand screaming for you. You don't need to go toe to toe in the first three rounds. You can be up three zip by boxing. And the judge is going, damn, 50,000 are cheering for our gold medal winning undefeated fighter. That's who Jeff Horn is. This kid is just isn't off the streets. He won gold for them. London Games 2012. There was millions watching that day. He won gold. He has an opportunity. He has a good right hand. I'll tell you what I see the flaw in Jeff Horn. He's a little too aggressive. And that's why I go back to game plan. They got to box early. They got to let the crowd dictate the fight early. Don't get damaged. Manny's going to be trying to do the same three punches. That's one thing about old fighters. They turn into robots, right? Manny has the jab left hook. That's all he does. He, He jumps in, bang, bang, bang. Then he jumps out, jumps back in. Time it. He said he's been watching the Marquez tape. I'm not telling you he has a right hand like Marquez, but that's a good place to start because he's knocked out many with that right hand. He won the title by knocking out the guy with one right hand. Time it. Don't press Manny Pacquiao. He'll work his angles. He'll pick you apart. Let the crowd make them uh, aggressive make them start worrying about the scorecards this is this is yours to win i'm telling you that 50,000 sold you are a ticket seller over there he, he just can't he can't stand sometimes he's square footed i see that too he's too square lee manny will drop him manny's gonna drop him if he does that in the ring with him he's got to be careful about that uh excellent fight if, I, if I'm Jeff Horn and his team, I'm very excited about this week. This is huge for them. 50, I can't keep off of the 50,000. Do we, we don't even come close to that in America. No, we don't do that for any... Look, we had two of the best fighters in the world in Vegas, and they couldn't right? sell out the T-Mobile, which, by the way... Hey, Lee, you can put both fights together. Is it 50K? Uh, Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And I still don't think, no, it would have been 36. T-Mobile does 50K, 40. yeah. Uh, I don't think, I don't know. What is max capacity on T-Mobile? Probably around 18, 19,000. And they didn't sell out. Their two, Kovalev Ward's two fights don't even, won't even compare to the 50K that was sold in one for Jeff Horn. And Manny's at the right moment, too. Come on, uh, we For all boxing, know it's 20,000 seats. So, all right, so it had only been 40 if they sold out, and we know they didn't. Well, it was the same 20 people. And I mean literally 20. As a matter of fact. You know, literally 20 people. The the first fight was only 10K, you guys. Ugh, terrible. Yeah. I terrible. like this fight Saturday night. 
I like Jeff Horn as the underdog. I like the situation that he's in. Lee, if he was fighting.